So, um, and like you said, the, the day after she passed, um, you guys took him in the next day. I mean, what, tell me about that decision. I mean, because it's a big decision, taking in a child. Right. Tell me it about... Was, it was, well, like you said, that, that's kind of, you know, we kind of did, that's where I didn't want to give in to the fact that, yeah, hey, she knows she might not be here. And I had said something to the whole family. I said, you know, if anything does happen, you know, me and Chantel had talked. And said, you know, we have the room, we have the means to take care of him. Because I couldn't stand him being in the cities, not knowing what he was doing, not knowing yeah. if he was okay. And I promised Brenda that no matter what happened, I would take care of him. So you promised no matter what happened? Yep. Yeah. When did he make that promise? Probably the day she before died. she passed. I was actually there holding her hand when she took her last breath. So that, that moment in the hospital when you promised her, I mean, that had to be a, a pretty special moment, trying to put myself in your shoes, how that could have... Yeah, it, it just felt right. I mean, it it wasn't that I had to do it. It's because we wanted to do it. Why was it important to take a minute? I mean, your nephew. Why, why is that important? It reminds me of her. It's like... <sighs> It just amazes me how how close you guys are and how much she looks up to you. I mean, was that a thing that happened right away that that father son bond happened? Well, or? I don't know if you know. Maybe it was for him. It was easier because maybe he didn't, you know, because he didn't really have a dad. So maybe you know, it's easier for him. You know, it was just like it feels right, you know what, and he takes care of me, That maybe, you know, that's what I think that maybe he's thinking is, you know, hey, this is my dad, and, you know, and that's one thing we, we, we reassure him, too, you know, because we, you know, yeah, that he's going to be here forever. Yeah, this we didn't want him to, you know, think, oh, this is just going to be temporary, you know, and we told him, you know, if you're 40 years old, this is still your house. You can come here no matter what, you know. It doesn't matter. You're not where you're here forever. So when you were in that essay, what kind of went through your mind? I don't know. It was weird. I was just like... Wow. Yeah, I was like, just, you know, his writing skills and what what he thinks of me. You know, that's, that's you know, the... Makes you, you know, we wow. Know and when did he start calling you guys mom and dad? We started calling Joe Dad first. Yeah. And I start calling Chantel Mommy. Yeah, it's probably two weeks. It wasn't. Two, three weeks. Why, why do the finalized adoption um, instead of just, you know, taking them in and. Well, um, I mean, why go through the formalities of an actual adoption? Actually, just having him living here. We couldn't do Daddy. any decisions for school. We could get him on a bus. We could switch schools. Right. And I'm like, we're taking care of him. He's right. under our roof. I'm like, what do you mean we can't? I mean, even taking him to a doctor, that was kind of, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. we needed the death certificate. The, it was just like, wow. Did I guess have any emotional back into it? I mean, did it, was it important you guys mostly to have the adoption finalized? Mm -hmm. Or... Did it not really matter emotionally, if that makes sense? I wanted it done so I knew that he was here forever. Right, yeah, that's <laughs> more that more of, you know... Security uh, for us and him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs>